Okay, so today I'm going to start reading the Epic of Gilgamesh, and this video is going to be a little bit of an introduction to the Epic of Gilgamesh, and then I'll actually start reading it in the next video. Uh, so, the Epic of Gilgamesh is one of our earliest stories. It might be our earliest recorded story, written down story. Maybe there's a few earlier ones. Um, but certainly the Epic of Gilgamesh is our first heroic story. The story about a hero, but actually he's, he's a tragic hero. So, you know, there's, there's commonality between Gilgamesh and Hamlet, uh, and Gilgamesh and Harry Potter. You know, they're all, they're all sort of the same character in their own way. Uh, so the Epic of Gilgamesh is this, this Sumerian tale, Sumero-Babylonian epic from about 2500 BC. Dates are, are a little fuzzy because this was likely, before it was written down, for hundreds of years it was a story that was passed down orally. Right? And, and you'll, you'll see how much of an oral story this is, even though it was written down. So it was, it was written down somewhere around 2500 BC, which is 4,500 years ago. Uh, so that's a long time. <laughs> that's a really, really long time. So that's twice as old as the Old Testament. Right, the Old Testament was 2,000 years ago. Or, sorry, twice as old as the New Testament. The New Testament was 2,000 years ago. Older than the Old Testament. The Old Testament was written down about 2,500 years ago. And, you know, it was perhaps an oral tradition 3,000 years ago. So, so we're talking much older than the Old Testament. Although, interestingly, from exactly the same geographic area that the Old Testament derives, right? The, the Near East. Um... Abraham was actually from, from the city of Ur, or Uruk. Those are two different cities. Abraham was from, from a Mesopotamian city of Ur. Um, and you'll see the city of Ur mentioned in the Epic of Gilgamesh. So, so there's, there's continuity here. Uh, and you'll see themes in the Epic of Gilgamesh that directly parallel the Old Testament, the Hebrew Bible. It's, it's really, really wild. Most people don't realize that, like, that, that much of the Old Testament is, is present in earlier mythologies. <laughs> Um, <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Uh, and, and the differences between the Old Testament and this say a lot about what, uh, what's more convincing in some ways about the Old Testament, and also like the evolution of patriarchy, and all these things you can see by comparing the Old Testament to the Epic of Gilgamesh. Uh, so that's really cool. Um, so the Epic of Gilgamesh is this really, really ancient story about a quest for immortality, and, and the fall, you know, the, the, the becoming human and, and the seeking of God-likeness. You know, this is, this is the human story. Uh, so, I'm going to be reading uh, a new translation by Penguin, Penguin Classics, uh, translated with an introduction by Andrew George. Um, it's a pretty standard translation. I'm sure there's more accurate academic translations, but this is, this is, I'm trying to read this to you, I'm not trying to, like, give a scholarly critique of it. Although, although I will make comments, uh, throughout the reading if there's something particularly salient that I want to highlight. But for the most part, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna read the text and appreciate it with you. So, you know, you can imagine that we're just sitting together in a room and I'm reading a story to you. That's how I want this to feel. Uh, so... So yeah, that's that's what we're going to do. Uh, so the next video that I upload is going to be uh, Tablet 1 of the Epic of Gilgamesh, translated by Andrew George. Uh, I'm also, I'm probably not going to be staring at the camera, I'm just going to be staring into my computer, which might look a little less engaging than what I'm actually talking to you. But again, long form video not supposed to be like this instantaneous attention grabbing blah. This is just me talking. Uh, so if you want to listen to me talk, that's what these videos are.